Hi there, it's Bruce Millington, Paul Keeley, David Jennings and Paddy Powers. Rob Catterson looking ahead to Sunday's racing. It is not exactly dripping with quality, but it may well be dripping with winners. Hopefully the lads have had a good look. We'll start at Nace, the big race there, the 4.15, the Goffs Lacken Stakes. It's a Group 3. Uh, I don't think we've got betting, Rob, but hopefully we've got a winner from you. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually a good card at Nice. There's uh, quite a few good races. Um, I thought that the Lacken Stakes was was probably the trappiest of them all. The Brogy Man obviously won at Navan for uh, Gerald Mossy and, and Adrian Keatley the last day. Aidan's got three. I just thought Joseph might hold the key here. And uh, now your tour or. or Speaking colours, I just thought with Dunica on board, um, he's got very little. He's, well, he's got a, a few pounds of finding ratings. I just thought he might be value. Uh, Joseph's horse is just starting to, to fire, so I just thought he might be one, but it's very trappy. Very trappy, according to Rob. Is it trappy in your eyes, DJ? Bruce, you're being very harsh here on Nace. This is dripping with quality. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, you've got a, a, a list of race at 240, you've got a list of race at 315, you've got a list of race at 345, you've got a group three at 415, and then you've got a really good handicap. So I take it back. Yeah, it's it's it's. It's like a tap. It's dripping a little bit with quality. But I think um, the one I really like, and it's actually an English horse, is Chessman in the 240, the Owenstown Stud Stakes. It's a listed race. Now, they're all quite evenly matched here, and Chessman's only rated 100. His brother Bear's rated 102, and uh, there's a few of them that are rated higher than his Chessman, but I think this will win. Um, it's gone to uh, Archie Watson, formerly with John Gosden. Finished seventh in the jersey last season. Was a bit unlucky. He was beaten... Sh- by kind of tight margins twice last season, beaten by Bacchus at Newbury, then it was beaten by Silent Echo at Haydock, a neck both times. I think Chessman is a really good colt. Um, was third to Gelotta on its comeback, first run for Archie Watson in a conditions race at Kempton. Arrod was second that day, and Arrod has obviously franked the form since um, by beating uh, Oh, This Is Us at Windsor during the week. Um, I think that Chessman just has the kind of class edge in a race like this. The likes of, you know, Rizzy Ann, Brother Bear, Jewel Maker. I don't think they've achieved as much as Chessman has achieved, so I'd be pretty strong. Archie Watson has booked Wayne Lorden for the ride, and mightn't be that short of a price on, on Saturday night. It's one that will be backed, I think. I think the shrewdies like myself will get stuck into Chessman, or Paul even. Uh, so that is in the 240. And the other one, Sergei... Prokofiev will obviously be an unbackable price in the 315, but the stuff coming out of Bally Doyle is that this is the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's not Sam Crow, it's Sergei Prokofiev. Did I pronounce that right? Um, they think he'll win the Coventry and he will win the Rochestown Stud Stakes at 315. And in the 345, this is a really interesting You're race. You're certainly not like a tap, are you? You can't turn you off, can we? Jesus well, Christ. Y- you can. Will I shut up now? No, no, go on. All right, in the 3.45, uh, so perfect is going to be short here for Ryan Moore and Aidan O'Brien. But don't be surprised to see a hell of a run from Sir Valem, who was second to Andre Amar at them dock, but only got going, only got the message really late there. I think she's a filly with a big future. That's Sir Valem in the 3.45. That'll be a huge price. But it's all about chessmen for me at Nace on Sunday, Bruce. When you're doing your wedding and you, d- yeah. you do the, the, the uh, ceremony and you plan and, and you know who's going to do what when, you know, the band are going to start at nine o'clock. How yeah. much time have you put in for your speech? Well, see, this is the thing, Bruce. Everybody is going to be coming to my wedding expecting this really long speech. And what expecting I'm actually... or dreading? Yeah, well, dreading probably. Yeah. See, that's the point. See, I don't want them dreading it, so I'm going to keep it really, really short. You, you're incapable. Kiels, do you fancy anything at Nice? Uh, I was quite interested in that speaking colours as well. So, uh, it was trained by Michael Botti last year and he said he thought it might be a, a uh, Commonwealth Cup horse uh, for this season. Um, I don't know where they moved him, but he uh, hasn't done him very well, I'm judging by his return when he only just got beat. Um, and I think he'd come on for it. So. OK, Rob, anything else on the NACE card that's dripping like a tap with quality? <laughs> yeah, well, if you do fancy Sergei Prokofiev, we're fours for the Coventry, so if it's true what DJ says, Take that. Um, it'll be probably yeah, four to six on su- Sunday night. Um, I thought Dermot uh, had a good chance in the opening Phillies maiden. Lagidal, she's an Oaks entry. Dermot's got a 22% strike rate with his three-year-old. Dermot to you, is he? Or Mr. Weld or Dermot Weld, whatever you, you fancy. But, um, yeah, Dermot Weld, Lagidal... 205. She's a she's an Oaks entry. Thought she uh, she could go well. And in the 515 Gunmaker, he's one of two for Gavin Cromwell. He wasn't fancied when he won at Dundalk on his first start for Gavin. And uh, Wayne Lorden's on board, so he's only nine pounds higher. But I think he could win the, the 515. DJ, do you know Serge Guy Prokofiev, Prokofiev's greatest hit? I didn't even know what he was. He's a composer. I'll, I'll sing oh. it. It's the one that a lot of football teams come out to. 
You know that one? Oh, I bizarrely, not because of you singing it, but I actually think I do. Okay, jolly good. Yeah. Kills, we've also got racing at Limerick, Stratford Market, Raisin, and Ripon this Sunday. Have you dug anything out? For uh, us? One each of the Britons, uh, the British, five o'clock at Ripon, Captain Lars. Um, uh, it's very awesome. This. It was, he, he went down £11 on turf last year from 83 to 72. Uh, and he then went back up on the all weather only up to 82. So he's ten pound. He's ten pound lower on the all weather than he. Than, sorry, he's ten pound higher on the all weather than he is on turf. And on his best form, he's a six pound better horse on turf than he is on the all weather. Um, he actually returned to turf last time. Was fourth at Catrick, but from stall nine. Uh, I think he has to go well. He's also got a seven pound claimer on. Takes him down to a very low mark in a bad race. Uh, I think he'll go well. Um, finger on the switch. One of my previous cliff horses that I kicked off the cliff just before he won at Huntington last time at uh, eight to one. Uh, I think that'll go well again at Stratford. Um, likes good ground, looks like it's come back to form and, and still well handicapped. And in the 350 at market race, a Sky Car, a nine year old that's been well handicapped for ages, um, ran from three pound out of the handicap at Air o, 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 on Scottish Grand National Day, finished second to um, Moon Racer. Uh, really, really good run at 16 to 1. Has won two of his four starts at Market Raisin. Thank you, Kills. Anything else from you, DJ? No, I'm petrified. No, no, it's all right if you've got one. Uh, I, did have, I did have one. I was going to shut up, but I, I had one against Paul in the 350 at Market Raisin. I thought Midnight Maestro would win that for Alan King, uh, owned by JP McManus. I don't think we've seen the best of Midnight Maestro. It was beaten last time at Plumpton, went off favour under Wayne Hutchinson. Travelled like a good horse, I thought, there for a long way. Um, it was second to Rothman. It was beaten six lengths in the end, but I thought it ran better than... than getting beaten six lengths. I thought that was a decent enough race, as good as this race, and he's only gone up a pound for it. So I think maybe a track like Market Raisin could be better suited than Plumpton. So Midnight Maestro in the 350. Good man. Anything else from you, Rob? Yeah, three at Limerick. Uh, I thought Roshan should take plenty of beating in the beginner's chase at 345 or 335M. He uh, bounced uh, or he'd a good reappearance when he won on the flat. Thanks for tea in the 4.35. The, uh, the mare's chase, she uh, was just touched off at Killarney earlier in the week. And in the bumper, at a big price, Russian soldier. There was an awful lot of money for this lad when he ran at Nav, and he disappointed on that occasion. But uh, it was uh, it was money from shrewd judges. So Luke Comer's Russian soldier in the 5.35 at Limerick on Sunday might be one to get you out of jail. Lovely. That sounds like a very strong tip to end the show with. Uh, Rob, what's the weekend hold? It's always the same for you, isn't it? Working both days. Um, well, myself and DJ were off golfing earlier in the week, so we're I'm office bound anyway this weekend. I don't know about him. You're what? You're office bound. All oh, right, I see. Yeah. Who, who won at golf? Um, I think DJ might have beaten me by one or two. All right. Okay, DJ, what have you got lined up, mate? <laughs> I think he's been very nice to me there. I think uh, I am at uh, Navin, my local track, tomorrow, and I'm at Nace on Sunday. And we're actually finalising the guest list Sunday night. So oh, big, yeah. big night. Yeah. Is that where me and Kills find out whether we're in or out? Yeah, it could be one or the other. I've taken a backward step here, haven't I? Yeah, you're gone after today. Oh, my God. You're going to be heckling my speech and everything. I won't. Of course not. I promise Shut you I won't. DJ. Give him more wine. <laughs> <laughs> OK, mate, listen, honestly, I know you've got 38,000 cousins. But, uh, I'll come to the night, dude. It's not far to come, is it? Kiels, I guess you're shooting off to Windsor in a minute to pitch your tent and get a nice spot for the wedding. Yeah, the absolutely. Street. Absolutely, yeah. I, mean, I love all of that. Did you see that Brian Bilston uh, poem? No. So I read it out. It's bloody funny. Is it rude? No, 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 no. It's not rude. I you just sure? really liked it. I just really. You do really know really that the jelly. It. We're her favourite <laughs> paper here. Yeah, you're not going to nose that up. No, 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 no. It's, it's quite funny though. But okay. it, it, it's worth a read. It's okay. worth a read. Here we go. Here we go. Your invitation is most kind, but with regret I must decline to watch your wedding on TV. I have a clash that day. You see, my diary contains a note to coat my head with creosote. Then count 10,000 grains of sand. I do so hope you understand. But even then, when that is done, there's a project I've just begun to sort my bookshelves once again, this time by ISBN. I'd love to watch, if not for that. I'd even plan to wear a hat, the kind which I might pull right down to block out sight and muffle sound. The one before I messed up too, the last time you lot had to do. I double booked just like a fool, watching mould grow, as I recall. I hope this doesn't spoil your day. It's unavoidable, like I say. The highlights I would watch instead, but I'm listening to The Queen is Dead.
<laughs> Little editing decision to be made before this goes out there. Um, what are you doing, Kielsen? Well, I'm not watching that, but no. I have to be out of the house because uh, uh, the missus and my daughter do want to watch it. So I'll be uh, I'll be watching racing somewhere, um, feigning interest in the FA Cup final later on, and then drinking. Okay, and Sunday? Uh, recovering probably. Excellent. Okay, jolly good. Thank you, chaps. That's the OBE gone out the window. Uh, <laughs> We're back uh, on Monday, well I'm not back on Monday, but I think Maddie will be back on Monday to look back on the weekend and ahead to what we've got coming up. So do join us for that and if you enjoy the postcast, please do rate, review and subscribe on iTunes. Success ain't earned, it's bought. That's why at Paddy Power, we paid the big bucks for the best tech nerds in the world to develop our new fastest ever app. Download the new app from the App Store or Play Store now. 18 plus,